Hello, my name is Arvid, co-founder of Append Library. In this video, we will walk through the entire app and learn all of its features. We will go through how you install sections to your Shopify store, how you then add these sections you have installed to your current Shopify theme, and how you through our editor can style all of the sections at once so you can build even faster. Now we know what to learn, so let's get into it. When you first enter Pent Library, you will be met with this dashboard. It holds some information about your store so you can see how many sections you have installed, how many blocks you have installed, and if you scroll down, you will see some of our most popular sections. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to head over to sections and install the first section to our store. In front of you right now, you can see our section library. Here you will see all the available sections that you can install to your Shopify store. In the left side panel, you will find some filtering options. Here you can filter between different section types and we will add more section types as time goes on. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to install two sections. We're going to start with Hero 2. I click the section and here I go to the individual section page. When you enter the individual section page, you can find some information about the section and even tips on how to use it. And if you need any help with this section, you can always join our Slack channel and get in touch with us. But now let's install the section. There we go. Now we have successfully added this section to our theme and let's do the same process for another section. We go back to the grid and for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to add feature two. And you can also add a section by clicking this button right here that says add to theme. Perfect. Now we have installed two sections to our theme and we can make sure that the sections has been installed by clicking this right here in the left side panel, active in theme. And as you can see, both our sections are here, which means they have been successfully installed. And remember, if you feel like we are missing a section, you can always press this button right here that says request. Then you will be sent to a form where you can request a section and we will make sure to build it so you can add it to your Shopify store. Now that we have installed the sections, we could add them to our theme. But before we do that, we will go through our editor so we can set our styles and build even faster while still staying on brand. To find our editor, you go to the editor option in the left side menu under the Pent Library app. Here you will be presented with three different UI blocks. And the wonderful thing about our editor is if you make any changes to any of the blocks variants, these will be globally applied throughout your Pent Library sections. And this will not only help you save a lot of time, it would also help you to stay on brand and stay consistent while building a Shopify. Let's make some changes to the heading option. As you can see now, we are in the heading editor. And before we go into making any changes, let's discuss variants. If you see in the top right on the left side panel, you see style and six variants. Default, the heading comes with extra large, large, medium, small, extra small, and tiny. These are different variants that we use when we build all our sections. This enables you to build fast and stay on brand. But of course, you can make any changes you want to these variants. Let's make some changes to the large variant. As you can see, this right now is a bit small and we can use our different default size options to change the size of the text. And if you look in the right side panel, you'll see that the text actually changes in the live preview when we press the different options. Maybe I want this to be a bit bigger or maybe super big, or even if I want to write a custom font size, I can open this and type 100 pixels. But I think this is too big, so I'll go for the large option that we offer default. And of course, you can also change the font of the heading. I want to keep this inter, but if you want to change it, you just click this and search for the font you want. We have support for all Shopify fonts, and soon we will try to add support for custom fonts as well. But I want to change the weight of this font. I don't want it to be regular, I want it to be bold. Perfect, so this is how I want my heading to look. And remember, this is only applied to the large variant. If I go to the medium variant, no changes will have been made since this is a different variant. But the large variant has these changes saved. If I want to save these changes and publish them to our theme, we press save in the top right corner or in the toolbar at the top. Now the changes have been saved and we need to publish them to our theme. And here we have our current theme and we click publish. Perfect. Now I can use this variant, the large heading variant, and if we look just like this, 
throughout my entire Shopify store. So I just saved a lot of time and I made it easy to stay on brand. Let's go back. Let's say I want to make some changes to the text. Here it's very similar to the heading option. I have five different variants, large, medium, regular, small and tiny. And I can make changes to this however I want. Let's say I want to make the large text a bit bigger. So I press the medium size option. I press save. And then I publish it to my feed. Wonderful. And now this have happened to my entire Shopify store and I saved a lot of time once again. Let's go back and let's make some changes to my buttons. The buttons come in three different variants. We have our primary buttons, our secondary buttons and our link buttons. For the primary button, I don't want it to be black. I want it to be blue and I'm going to use this blue dark that is a default. And I want my button to be round, so I have these different preset options. But if I want to, I can always use the pencil to write my custom pixel radius. And this is the same for each, for the padding and for the border style. But for this part, I want to change the border color. So I press the pencil here. And I want this to be transparent. Now I don't have a border, but I have a blue button. And I think this looks good, so I will save. But before I go into my theme and start using these, I actually think that I want to make some edits to my secondary button. So I will switch the variant to secondary. And I can see that this is square, but I want this to be round as well. So I press the round option. I press save. And publish. And now I've made changes to some of our elements in the editor and we can use these throughout our Shopify store. And once again, we have saved a lot of time and we have helped ourselves to stay on brand at the same time. So now we have installed the sections we want. We have made changes to our editor and all that is left is going to the theme editor and add the sections. Let's jump into it. Adding pen library sections to your Shopify store is super easy. We follow the normal Shopify workflow so you don't have to learn anything new. You can do what you already know, but you will have more sections available to build your store. Let's enter the theme editor. Here you can see that we have a dummy store. And I will now add the sections that we have installed. Hero 2 and Feature 2. And then we will make some small changes to these sections so they fit our brand and they look like how we want them to. To add a section, we do like we normally would in Shopify and click Add Section. And then we will just search for the section that we want to add. We press it and there we go. Now we have it in our store. So let's start making some changes. Let's say that I want this heading to say, this is my new heading and it would work. But as you can see, this is not the heading that we styled. And if we want to make this into one of the styles from our editor, we have to choose a variant. If you press this and remember that we made changes to the large variant, they will be applied. It was a minor change, but they have been applied. And this is the power of Pent Library. If we now were to change anything in the editor of the large heading style, this will apply to all of our sections in the entire store. So we can control the entire store's look through our editor. Let's add some imagery to the background. We click the background. We add a image left. Let's choose this one. Let's add a overlay of 40%. Let's add a image right. Let's choose this one. And do an image overlay 40% to match the other image. Now we have added some imagery, but let's start changing the text. So I want this to say, this is the craziest sale I've ever had. And I will choose the variant that we style. So let's select the variant and choose medium. And now the text is the size that we set before and it's the same font. And now for the buttons, let's choose a variant. So I click the button I want to change and the variant I want for this one is primary. And this button variant for the second button is also primary. But as you can see, this doesn't really fit. I don't like the blue against the dark background. So if I want to change it to the secondary button variant that we styled, I just click the button and I change the variant to secondary. And let's do the same change for the right button. And 
And now I'm quite happy with this look. I will remove this tagline since I don't think we need it. And now under the Hero 2, let's add the Feature 2. Here we go. I will add an image by clicking the image and selecting an image. I will write something here, uh, let's say street where is where it's at. And of course I can make any changes to this I want. But these buttons I want to make for the primary variant. So click the variant and select primary. I click the other button and I also want this to be a primary button so I click it and select the primary variant. And now I have saved the store and if we were to view this And as you see on the live site, we have added two pent library sections and we have used the editor styles to style the text and the buttons. It was fast and our store looks much, much better. We have now successfully added a couple of sections from pent library to our shop Viking. And we have used the styles from our editor to build even faster while staying on brand. And with this, we have unlocked the true potential of pent library. The foundation is set and all you have to do is keep installing sections and thanks to the editor, you will stay on brand and you can build faster than ever. That's all I have for this video. If you have any feature requests or section requests, make sure to join our Slack channel. You can always get in touch with us there and we are super quick to respond. Keep building and stay awesome.